<clears throat> that I had stopped watering it. So this year I want to stay on top of fertilizing the grass. I will probably come in here with seed in the spring as well. <clears throat> I realize that it's harder to grow here. Oh, this is going well. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Heather and this is The Moss Co. And today we are doing a follow-up video on the last video I did, which was planting grass in the front yard. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel or haven't been here before, my name is Heather. We do live in East Tennessee. We garden in a zone 7B and we live up here in the woods and it's great and it's wonderful and it's very shaded, which is great, but sometimes challenging for growing things <clears throat> on this channel, the Moscow. We like to share, <clears throat> um, us trying to do stuff together and even though conditions aren't perfect just trying our best with what we have so on my last video i made a video about replanting the grass um, up here and i was really trying to be consistent and do two videos a week and i got really really sick like the sickest i've ever been in my adult life and that just fell off so it's been probably four weeks since we planted this grass and so again, the challenges up here are, it is fairly shaded. It's dappled, but it's pretty shady. So it is shaded up here. And my sweet puppy dogs tend to trample up here. Um, and it's also on a slope. Um, so I feel like I was fairly happy with the results. And then I stopped watering and I could tell the ground was getting kind of dry. Um, <clears throat> So, um, I tried two different types. <clears throat> there were some seed mats Jason had bought and then some loose seed that I bought. And I'm gonna flip you around so that you can see. So, for the most part, I'm fairly happy with it. If you look back at that video, it was completely just dirt. And you can see where the grass grew in fairly well. It's still pretty patchy, but it grew in fairly well so I'm pretty happy with that um, especially right here it didn't grow in as well and then again my my dogs did trample so I have put out again another round of seed mats if you will but if you look over here like this was completely brown and dead and empty so one of the things I would have done differently is maybe seed a bit thicker but I do feel like this is where that previous mat was versus the loose seed. The loose seed is maybe doing a little better, but it's hard to tell because they're probably trampling right here, but it was growing in pretty thick here. And we have more of these. So this is where my dogs trample the most. So I went ahead and put out another end, like maybe you can tell <coughs> right there in between these two where they've dug. And then I've also put, if you can tell, landscape staples. And this is just to discourage them from like bounding through here and some are already out so I can tell that it's not working great um, but it's to prevent that so again what we did was lay the grass seed out um, and we're just trying another round so I would say I'm pretty happy with this it's like 50% success especially like down here this looks really good um, and some of that's looking really good I think one of the keys hey ladies is that we just need to water our grass and maybe take better care of it. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, again, all we've got is like a sprinkler hooked up. We are watering it four times a day. And I did, I did stop watering it several weeks in. And then again, I saw where the ground got cracked. So that's probably not real good for the growth of this seed either, <clears throat> that I had stopped watering it. So this year I want to stay on top of fertilizing the grass. I will probably come in here with seed in the spring as well. <clears throat> I realize that it's harder to grow your grass. This is going well. To grow your grass in the spring. But I think if we stay after watering it and fertilizing it and just keep after, we'll slowly start gaining some more grass. So again, I am fairly happy with this. 
Um, it is not nearly, it's just like a brown. And it, the, a couple weeks after I started, I came out and I was like, you know what, it's, it's growing in. So I think I will give it a 70% success rate. But I did just want to share with you guys, especially since it's been a couple weeks, I know this is kind of a short video, what our success with this was. And this is kind of par for the course with this channel. Things aren't perfect here. Like I say, this is a very shady area. That's a very sketchy sprinkler, but we're just trying stuff and seeing what works and trying again. And I think that gardening is like that and hoping to make you feel like that just because you don't have the most perfect situation, just try it and see what you get. Comment below things that you think I could be doing different. If anybody has a way to keep their dogs from demolishing their garden, please comment that below. Because that is my number one struggle right now. And I love my babies. I mean, they are just adorable. But Lord. In any case, comment down below if you have a way to help with that. How you feel about the grass, what we could be doing differently or better. We'd love to have the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.